Court documents obtained by 7 News reveal a doctor hired by Lewis County Health System to help get its maternity unit reopened is on probation by New York State after being accused of professional misconduct. 7 News reporter Lexi Burning is live tonight with more on who the doctor is, what his lawyer has to say, and also what the accusations are. Lexi. Jeff, the hospital had struggled to find a doctor to get its maternity ward back open after it paused in 2021. To help open it back up, Lewis County Health System hired Dr. Georges Ackle. These documents include allegations involving the doctor, ones Lewis County Health says it knew about. It is fair to say before we had um, the initial interview and then the subsequent interviews, we did a lot of like head scratching. Do we want to go down this path? Is, is this uh, an individual that we want to consider? Um, and that was very deliberative. Um, but at the end of the day, we thought, we know what we've read online. Let's hear from the doctor himself. Those were questions Lewis County Health System CEO Jerry Kayer and staff had asked themselves when considering Dr. George's Ackles application last year. Documents obtained by 7 News show the hospital's latest OBGYN's past. According to this court document, in 2022, Dr. Ackle was suspended from his clinical privileges at Rome Health as it investigated his relationships with two co-workers, nurses at the hospital. Court papers reveal the two women eventually saw and obtained orders of protection against the doctor. Dr. Ackles' lawyer, Anthony LaFach, says when the case has gone to court, there was no finding the doctor did anything wrong. One order was continued. It's unclear where the other stands. While the doctor was accused by the state of professional misconduct, according to Dr. Ackles' lawyer, and made the determination Ackle could continue practicing. People make mistakes in life. I mean, if we look at politicians, you know, who are accused of, you know, relationships with other women, whatever, so... I'll, I'll acknowledge that to you. He's very sorry about that. Kayer says the hospital and its board of managers were aware of the complaints made at Rome Health prior to his hire, and the interviewing process was quite extensive. He says the conversations were very blunt and direct. Did we know his past? We knew it to the extent um, with regards to the information that we could harness through the Internet, publicly available, as well as um, through Dr. Ackles, um, candid responses to our very direct questions. While Dr. Ackle can continue practicing, he was placed on a 36-month probation by the state. It requires him to have a chaperone in the room while he examines female patients. I cannot think of a time in my career where there have not been chaperones for, for female patients of both male physicians and female physicians. So it is a standard of practice. Kayer says essentially everyone in the organization, including Lewis County legislators, are aware of the backstory. I stand by the process and, and to this point in time, uh, Dr. Ackle has, uh, you know, engaged the way he should be engaging with us as an organization. So as I have shared with Dr. Ackle, it, it'll be the test of time. And I, you know, I would say I'm cautiously optimistic, but when somebody is repenting, if you will, it, it does take time to reestablish and, and have trust. Kayer says if any issues come up that don't align with the organization's values, it would be addressed. But he says all feedback so far has been positive. His patient satisfaction scores are terrific. Um, he scores very well, and that has been our experience with him um, in the first two months of joining our medical staff. And Jeff, Dr. Ankle's lawyer claims his client has never been sued for malpractice and has never had a patient complain. He says 150 of Dr. Ackles' patients from the Rome area are now making the drive to Lowville to see him. Lexi Bruning with that report, thank you.